All right, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called Back to the Future 2. I'm going to try to do two movie reviews back to back. Uh, this is a sequel that sucks, uh, along with the uh, Exorcist 2 Heretic. Uh, making a sequel to Back to the Future 2 was a bad idea. Uh, they were just trying to milk this one as much as they could. They they tried to make two sequels in one year, 1989, so they did Back to the Future 2 and Back to the Future 3 the same year. They refused to um, to hire back Cliff uh, Glover as uh, George McFly because he was asking for too much money, apparently, and uh, there were some legal battles. Um, but uh, just like Exorcist uh, 2, this movie sucks, but unlike Exorcist 2, it's it's not so bad that it's good. I mean, it's the jokes are, are dumb. Uh, Marty McFly um, goes to the year 2015, which is three years from now, and he sees uh, Jaws 19 playing, which kind of reminded me of uh, Alien Nation, where they got like Rambo 9 or or Rambo 12 and the mo showing at the movie theater. And then a holographic Jaws comes out, um, bites him in the head, and he says, uh, he says something stupid like, oh, I, I always thought that um, that shark was fake, uh, or something like that. And um, the stupid hoverboards, that I remember seeing the commercials for those when I was graduating from high school. Um, the ads for this movie, they had the hoverboards, those are supposed to be really cool things. They look ridiculous and dumb, I mean, um, since when do skateboards exist in the air? And that, that was a dumb idea. Uh, the only realistic um, thing in this movie uh, during the future time period of 2015 was uh, when they were video calling each other on the, and they had smart TVs um, that's more realistic but everything else was just crap and um, Michael J. Fox p played four different roles in this one I guess they were trying to uh, uh, make him work as hard as possible on this movie and um, So I didn't care for the 2015 time period. Then they go back to 1985. Actually, the 1985 time period is my favorite part because it looks like a really grimy neighborhood. And um, I'm not sure why, though, they they, uh, they put a giant casino hotel in the middle of the ghetto. I've never seen that before. That was unrealistic. Um, Las Vegas Strip doesn't look like that. Uh, a bunch of bikers with uh, shotguns so um, it was it was kind of strange and surreal at that part uh, that, that was the part I enjoyed the most a uh, bit looks like um, Larry Flint he's got uh, gold chains open shirt and sideburns uh, so kind of remind me of Larry Flint um, 1955 Part of the movie is kind of a rehash of the first movie. I mean, there's nothing really original. Um, my stepdad used to say, you know, can't go wrong with Spielberg, but um, I guess he never saw the sequels to uh, Back to the Future. Um, so these two movies came out in 1989, about five years after the original, and um, they suck. I haven't seen the third one, but. Um, just waiting for Netflix to send it to me. Um, the second one sucks. I gave it two stars on Netflix. And um, Robert Zemeckis is sort of a hit or hit and miss director. Uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit was kind of fun when I was when I was in high school. Um, I didn't like Forrest Gump, but I liked the Beowulf though. So, like I say, um, some of his movies are good, some are are terrible. Uh, this one is terrible, so I I'd say skip it. 
uh, unless you want to fast forward to the 1985 part where um, Marty's looking at his father's grave, I guess because they didn't want to pay they didn't want to pay uh, Glover's actor's salary or whatever. Um, so yeah, um, I don't I can't really say much about much else about this movie. Oh, um, oh yeah, Michael Michael J. Fox is a 30-year-old playing a teenager. Plus, he plays his his kids and an old man. So it's kind of confusing um, the age of this guy. He looks like he's about 30, but he's playing all kinds of different uh, ages in the movie. So that, that wasn't too bright on behalf of Zemeckis, but. Um, I guess they were trying to film this really fast and get it over with, milk it for as much as it was worth at the time. So, um, yeah, that's the end of my review. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day. Nice and warm outside. Later.